Hello, hello, everybody. So as you may be able to tell, I'm currently recording this from my home office, uh, but I will be splitting time this semester between both my home office and our classroom at FHS. Speaking of our classroom, oh, I actually have a short 360 video of that for everybody to view. That way students can start getting an idea of the lay of the land. That video will be included in the slideshow that we cover on day one. So Monday for my first and second block and Tuesday for my fourth block. Now before I get into details about virtual learning, I want to quickly introduce myself. So my name is Miss Stone and I'll be a bi your biology teacher this fall. I'm only teaching biology this fall semester, but I will also be teaching peas in the spring. I'm a Frederick County native, so I grew up in and around the FCPS school system. And I didn't go very far away after graduation because I went to Hood College where I earned my bachelor's in biology. After graduating Hood, I jumped right into working my dream job at the time, which was coaching, and coach field hockey at both Catoctin High School and Hood College, which was incredibly fun and rewarding. I actually still coach at Catoctin. I've coached field hockey there for eight years, six of them as the head coach, and I've actually coached lacrosse there for five years. Now, I'm no longer coaching at Hood. As much as I loved it, I stopped to focus on my career. At that time, I decided that I would love actually getting into the classroom. So I went back to Hood and got my certification in secondary science education. While doing so, I also became employed by the county as a substitute. So all in all, I've worked at almost all of the schools in some capacity, whether as a substitute or as a student teacher. One of my first internships was actually at Frederick High School, so it's awesome to be able to come back. Last year, though, I was actually at both TJ High School and Monocacy Middle. A little bit more about me. I love playing sports and coaching, obviously, and just being active. I like running, hiking. If, you know, if I'm outside, I enjoy it. I actually also really enjoy baking and, of course, spending time with friends and family. Now that's enough about me for now, personally. Uh, I just want everybody to know that I'm incredibly excited for the school year, and it's definitely going to be one to remember, but I have high hopes that we can still really crush this virtual learning. I just can't wait to meet and learn more about each and every one of you. Now before I leave you completely, I wanna quickly go over some of the workings of our class this semester. So students will be spending the majority of their time working between two systems, Schoology, and Google Meet. Schoology, like in the past, is where all of your assignments will be posted. In fact, let's go ahead and actually check that out now. Okay, now that we are in Schoology, we're going to hit Courses. And for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go through Period 1's Schoology account. Don't worry, because all of the same items have been posted into each of the biology courses. So when you first log into your course, you'll see the announcement that I've posted. This isn't one of those fancy virtual Bitmoji classrooms, so you can click on it. It won't do anything, but it's just a friendly welcome from myself and my uh, cat Luna. Below that, you'll see all of your documents. You'll notice that most of these are gray right now and say unpublished. Those have not been published to you yet and won't be published until they're needed, but they can be seen on my end. So don't freak out when you log in and you only see onboarding videos. That's the only thing that has been currently published. So about the onboarding videos, this is a good tool to use if anybody's a little bit fuzzy about how to use Schoology. There's plenty of videos in English and Spanish that'll walk you through some of the more important things with Schoology. Like say you don't remember how to message a teacher or how to respond to a discussion. Just go into that onboarding folder and there's plenty of videos for you to check out. Or say you hear some of your teachers talk about Pear Deck, Kami, or PlayPosit. These are some of the newer like technology tools that your teachers may be using. Maybe you've never used them before. There are actual student videos in here that will help you out. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to the Schoology page. You'll see that below the onboarding videos, there's the biology syllabus. That will be posted tonight once I post this video. So this is a good thing to actually check out. If you have time over the summer, if you just want to wait until next week, that's fine too. It'll give you a little bit of an overview of the course, some of the expectations, and my contact information is in the syllabus at the very top. So if you have any questions, my email address is actually located in this document. And again, that will be published for you right after I publish this video. Now about next week, we have our week one folder. And then below that, we have our unit folders. Again, these have not been published. The week one folder won't be published until Monday for everybody. And included in the week one folder will be all of the documents that you need for that first week. As we go through our course, that's exactly how I'm going to lay out all of the content is on a weekly basis. So on Monday of each week, I'm going to post the folder and then the items that students need to complete, they're all going to be due by midnight on Friday. So we can go ahead and just click into week one. You'll see that for now. I've kind of spread it out between our synchronous sessions. So we have three synchronous sessions for each week and for period one and actually for period two. Those are on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday for period four. It's going to be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So in these folders is going to be all the documents or um, items that we look through during the synchronous sessions. I might have other documents out here. Everything that's in there is what's needed for the students to complete the work throughout the entire week. So for Monday, when we're in our synchronous session, I have a PowerPoint for you. I have online class expectations. I have a student survey that I'm asking to get back by the end of Friday. Um, and there's going to be a few other documents as well, but for now this is what's posted, to, just to give you guys an idea of kind of how it's going to be laid out. Week one, for the most part, since we're onboarding, is not going to have a bunch of content in it. We are mostly focused on welcoming everybody back, letting everybody know what the expectations are from day to day, and trying to build a classroom community by going through introductions and just getting to know each and every one of us. We're dealing with a lot of new technology, new devices for some as well, so there's definitely going to be some hiccups along the way, and week one's going to be a great time for us to get it all figured out. When it comes to week two, that's actually going to be posted in the unit one folder. So after week one, we're jumping right into our first unit, which is cycling of matter and energy dynamics. And we're going to start off with the first standard or first topic, which is the organization of life. And as you guys can see here, I have the week two folder posted already. So this is just to get you guys an idea of how we're going to navigate Schoology. When it comes to our synchronous sessions, those are going to be on Google Meet. And in order to get into the Meet, you're going to have to use a specific link, which I have posted in this little information box on the left-hand side. So for each of our synchronous sessions, we're going to be using this very first link here. This is Course Google Meet link. And then you guys well, notice I have a second link here. This is for my office hours. So office hours will be posted in that syllabus that I'm posting tonight. And I'll actually find a, a place to post the office hours so that they're a little bit easier to find as well. But for office hours, if anybody wants to meet up and get some extra small group or one-on-one uh, -on -one instruction time. This is the Google Meet that we'll be using for those. Okay everyone, hopefully that wasn't too long. Just wanted to introduce myself and give you a quick rundown of how the course is going to work this semester. Hope you guys have a happy weekend and I look forward to seeing everybody next week and meeting everyone.